Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about how to unlink your bank account from QuickBooks Online. And this is really resulting in information going into the banking feed over here. So in QuickBooks Online, you've got this banking feed option, and this is where we connect to your bank account, and it gives us a real-time idea of what is going on in your bank account. Every transaction that hits your bank account ends up resulting here. Um, and it's a really nice feature, but also keep in mind that when we're dealing with this here, that if you're entering stuff in, you need to be making sure that you're matching stuff so that you don't create duplicate entries. If you are creating duplicate entries, then ultimately what's going to happen here is that you're going to duplicate your books and your bank reconciliations are going to be off. It's going to be more difficult to do everything. So do use this area with caution. And I find a lot of people enjoy using it to start with, um, but then it gets a little out of control. So they want to know how to unlink it. So we're going to go through that today of how to unlink it. And as much as you would think that you could easily do it from here, and you can edit the account info and everything from here, um, and edit your sign-in info, it can be done from here. And actually, I'm going to show you that as the first thing here. Um, and when you edit the sign-in, it's taking you a minute here. But it'll actually bring up the sign-in here um, so that you could sign in. Now, this is a sample account, so it's not really connected to an account here. Um, and that's why it's trying to give me all that stuff there. So what we can do here is one of two things. You'll see up here that we've got this little pencil icon. Now these two here don't have that pencil icon, but this one here does have the pencil icon. So if you're on this banking tab here and you see this pencil icon, you can click it and you can click edit account info and it's going to actually bring up your chart of account information here. And right down here, you'll see connected to checking at examplebank.usa. So this is the bank account that it's connected to so that you can verify that it's connected to the correct account. Beyond that, you've got this disconnect this account on save. So if we click that and then we click save and close, it's going to disconnect that account and it's actually going to remove it from this area. And now you'll see how that pencil's over here too. So as long as you're clicked on here, you can edit those. However, before we do that, I want to actually show you another way to come in. So you notice when we clicked this and we clicked edit account info, it actually looked exactly like it does on the chart of accounts when we're editing and adding a chart of account account. So we're going to come over here and go to your chart of accounts, which is under accounting and then chart of accounts. And then we're going to see all of our bank accounts here and any or all of our accounts in general, not just bank accounts in any account that is actually connected is going to have this double arrow here, which means it's sharing information. So if you actually want to go ahead and take a look and disconnect from there, it's going to be fairly simple as we're just going to click on this arrow here and click edit. When we click that edit, it's going to bring up that exact same screen that we had on the other area. We can click that disconnect this account on save and it will go ahead and disconnect it. Now this isn't going to remove any balance that you currently have in QuickBooks. However, it's going to remove any unclassified transactions on this banking area and the bank balance here. So if you notice down here on this one account that's still connected, we've got a bank balance here of negative 30496. But we have a QuickBooks balance of 15772. And in a later video, I'll talk a little bit more about what this is. But this basically tells us that we've got information that may be in here that is not here, or that we've got duplicates. Um, so if we disconnect this, we're going to lose this feature, and we're also going to lose any transactions that are sitting here like this. So if we were to actually add these transactions here, we may very well get to the point where these equal out the way that they should. But that is basically how we go through and we disconnect those accounts. There's two areas. We got the one right here where we come into the chart of accounts. We click edit and we click here. If it wants to load, there we go. Click here to disconnect. Or we can come here to banking and just click on the pencil here to click edit and disconnect there. Same exact screen both times. It's just two different areas that you can go to. And again, 
This is something really useful if you notice that this is creating a lot of duplicate entries or that you're not able to keep up with it. And I do recommend for people who are not used to using QuickBooks Online, don't start immediately using this feature because it is a very nice feature but if you're coming from desktop or another program, it can be very overwhelming and it can actually really throw your books off if you're not used to it. So just use this feature with caution. And other than that, y'all have a great day and reach out to me if you have any questions.